Okay, so I thought um, going through these questions together would be a little more like being in a classroom and probably make a little bit more sense. So I've made up some CRI and drift rate questions which are available on Moodle on the forum um, part of the announcements. So um, if you download them and print them off and go along with me, it'd probably make it a little easier. Um, for these questions and for real life, I feel like uh, using critical thinking and um, logic is a little easier and makes more sense rather than using dimensional analysis. So that's how I'm going to teach these. I do, um, I can write them out in dimensional analysis, but I think when you're in a real setting, um, it makes more sense to work through these problems stepwise rather than one big long written equation that along the way may not make sense. So um, I'm gonna do it this way and hopefully this makes more sense for you. So the first question is a 10 kilogram dog needs a 25 microgram per kilogram per minute um, constant rate infusion of lidocaine. He's on a fluid rate of 75 mils per kg for 24 hours. And we need to know how many mils of the drug to add to a one liter bag. Uh, one liter bag is a bit much. Usually we would be adding it to a burette or something smaller, but um, this is one of the questions that's really similar in the assignment. So I just kind of use this instead. Um, so the first thing to do would be uh, figure out how many micrograms per kilogram per minute and um, then work your way down the line. So um, 10 kilograms times 25 mics per kg per minute. Uh, equals 250 micrograms per minute. So from here, you can either turn your micrograms into milligrams or min minutes into hours, um, but do it one at a time and you'll make less mistakes. So there are a thousand micrograms per uh, milligram. So we're going to divide this by a thousand because there's a thousand mics in one milligram. So um, that is... Oops. So 0.25, I probably could have done that in my head, but just not make any mistakes. So this is now 0.25 milligrams per minute. There are 60 minutes in one hour. So we're now gonna times this by 60 minutes in one hour. So times 60. Okay, so now we have 15 milligrams per hour. Um, so the next part of the question is figuring out the fluid rate. So it's 75 milligrams per kilogram per 24 hours. Um, he's 10 kilograms. So that's 750 mils per 24 hours, which um, this divided by 24 equals uh, 31.25. So we're just gonna say 31 mils an hour. Uh, so I'm gonna circle that because it makes it easier. So these are the things that we need to know. Um, so I recommend using this formula. Um, it's something that you just have to memorize. Um, I have it memorized now, but I've had it written on um, pieces of paper or in my little cheat sheet book. But uh, the formula, I'll write it up here, is um, as long as everything's in the same units, it always makes sense. So it is drug in mils per hour over fluid rate in mils per hour equals X mils of the drug over the mils, whatever is in the bag or burette. So then you can just punch in your numbers. Um, so our drug in mils per hour is 15 milligrams per hour. So I'll go down here. So 15 milligrams per hour. Our fluid rate is 31 over 31 mils per hour. Um, oh, sorry, we have to turn 15 milligrams into mils so that these both make sense. So uh, 15 divided by 20 um, which is the lidocaine right here. Uh, so I'll just put divided by 20 mg per mil 
equals 0 0.75 mils an hour. Sorry about that. Okay, now we're in the same. Um, and this is what's good about the formula is that it will catch you because you always need to have the same units over the same units, otherwise you're gonna make a mistake. So 0.75 mils per hour over 31 mils per hour um, equals our X mils of drug uh, over um, a one liter bag. So this is in mils, one liter needs to be put in mils as well. So that's a thousand mils because there's a thousand mils to one liter. And then you just have to cross multiply. So then this will equal 0 0.75 times a thousand equals X times 31. Um, so 0.75 times a thousand is 750 equals X times 31. To isolate X, you have to divide everything by 31, including this. So then X equals whatever 75, 750 is over 31. So 750 divided by 31. So that is 24.19 mils. So um, depending on what you're doing and adding to, you could um, just round this up to 24.2 um, since it's going into a liter bag, it's probably safe to do 24, but because everything's precise, we're just going to keep it at, um, 24.19. Um, so then you need to do the last step, which is sometimes forgotten, which is, um, removing this amount from the one liter. So thousand mils, 24.19. Um, so you'll be putting in 24.19 mils into 975.81. So that's how you would do that one.